In this tutorial I'm going to look at some of the graphs you can use for categorical variables, the pie charts and the bar charts. If I go first to pie charts, I'm sure everyone has seen a pie chart before. Now let's just try in bathrooms and having a look at it. And we see that most of the houses had one bathroom. A good proportion had two bathrooms and just a small number had three bathrooms. And let's try another one and might look at uh, say number of bedrooms and here we can clearly see that most of the houses had three bedrooms a significant proportion had four bedrooms a few had five bedrooms and maybe it will tell me how many if I hover the mouse over the top so pie chart slice category equals five and the value equals 2.9 percent so two point, nearly three percent of the houses had um, five bedrooms and whereas this is category two, two bedrooms, only just over one percent of the houses had two bedrooms. Seventy percent had the three bedrooms. So pie charts are quite nice when you've got just a few categories, say up to f five or six maybe, um, and you're just wanting to simply look at the proportions of something. And that uh, might be quite nice to do a pie chart for region, just to get an idea of where the houses were sent from. Um, it looks like we've got some fairly even sampling. The fewest houses from Region 3 and the most from Region 4 and we've seen that in the other plots that we've done that we have more data in Region 4. If you get a pie chart that looks like a great big mess it probably means you've put in the wrong type of variable. So Minitab will let you put in other things like say land area. If I click on that and it's tried to draw me a pie chart here of the land area um, and you can't read this, that's a mess. So if you get a pie chart out that looks like this, you've put in, you've, you're doing the wrong type of graph for that variable. So I'll get rid of these and we'll have a little look at the bar charts. So the bar charts you'll see look a bit like the histograms except they're made for categorical variable and the bars actually don't join up whereas the histogram you have a continuous range on the x-axis. If I look just at a simple one, the say number of bedrooms, and here again it's just another, represent, another representation of what we saw with the pie chart. So number of bedrooms equals 4, value equals 72, so there were 72 houses with the um, 4 bedrooms in them. One of the options you can use for your bar charts is to do what's called a clustered or a stacking bar chart if you want to look at splitting one variable by another and this is similar to what we've done with the charts for the continuous variables. So here I might be interested in looking at how the number of bathrooms changes depending on whether or not you've got a pool. So number of bathrooms equals one, does it have a pool, no or yes? number of bathrooms equals ha equals two, do we have a pool, no or yes? And three, no and yes. So very few houses had three bathrooms. We might be interested in looking at that the other way around and to do that you just need to put your variables in in the reverse order. So instead of going bathrooms pool, I'll put in pool bathrooms. And here we can see now we've got the houses without a pool group together and the houses with a pool group together and they're one, two or three bathrooms, one, two or three bathrooms. So how you want them clustered uh, depends on what you want to look at. 